time for another stop on our Destination Texas series. Even though summer break is over, there are still creative things you can do to go on an adventure. And each week we'll be showing you the amazing family friendly outings that await without ever having to leave East Texas. And today, KDK's Corinne Benandi is bringing us to a salty spot in Grand Saline. The Salt Palace, a building constructed of metal, sand, and salt. It used to be completely made of salt. Now we have one side, the Highway 80 side, is all salt, and then we have part of the front side is salt. A tiny treasure in a town that revolves around the mineral, Grand Saline sits on a massive salt dome. The Caddo Indians found the salt in 800 A.D., so there's been some kind of salt production here ever since then. That salt found on top of the ground led to Morton Salt opening an underground mine years later. There's a lot of salt mines all over the country, all over the world, but this is one of the largest and one of the most pure. The mine is the area's largest employer and with an estimated three trillion tons left to mine, the city is set for at least another 20,000 years. The salt made Grant Saline. Right at the entrance of the museum is this huge salt rock that came straight from the mine in Grand Saline. When it was placed here in 2005, it was actually twice the size, but of course, it's worn down over time. Salt does deteriorate in the moisture. When it goes away, we'll, they'll put another one out there. This downtown palace has served as an attraction in Van Zandt County since 1993, filled with different pieces of the region's history. We have a display for Chris Tomlin, the Christian singer songwriter. He's from here. Wiley Post was a famous aviator. He's also from Grand Saline. He was the first man to solo around the world. Morton's memorabilia from days past is presented. The little salt girl has been on the box since 1914. And raw salt rocks from below fill the palace. So we have people come in here from all over the world and are, they're just amazed at salt. This sodium chloride treasure is not just a rare destination for the state, but for the whole country. This is the only building in North America made of salt. So next time you're driving through East Texas, make sure to get salty at the Grand Saline Salt Palace. Corinne Benandi, KETK News. The Salt Palace is open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And it's completely free to enjoy the palace. Sounds like a deal. Yeah.